Hello and welcome to another episode of WS Matrix. Go ahead and take a moment to subscribe to our channel so you can join our club of elite investors. Today, we're going to tell you a short story about investing. What does a dog and the stock market have in common? The answer may surprise you. So, stay tuned, subscribe and smash the like button really quickly. Ralph Wenger was born in 1933, almost to the day of the bottom of the Great Depression. He went on to be not only a great investor, but a great investment writer, sharing wit and wisdom in his quarterly shareholder letters. Wenger once analogized the stock market to a man walking his dog in New York. The man has done the same walk for years, starting at Columbus Circle, strolling through Central Park, and ending at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The dog has boundless energy and never walks in a straight line. He leaps randomly from one direction to the next, stops to smell every leaf, barks at other dogs, and jumps on you for no reason. At any moment, there is no predicting what the dog will do or which way he'll leap. His movements are totally unpredictable, but you know he's heading northeast at about three miles per hour toward the museum where he'll eventually end up because that's where the owner is taking him. What is surprising is that almost all investors seem to have their eye on the dog and not the owner. As you navigate your life as an investor, pay more attention to the owner and businesses and less to the dog who's running around everywhere. Everyday markets movements does not dictate the long-term direction. The dog may jump, stop to pee, sniff and bark, run around but eventually the dog is going to end up where the owner wants. The same thing is true with the stock market. Over the long term, you're going to ride through the roller coaster rides, the ups and downs, and the market crashes and the market booms. Time invested in the stock market beats timing the market. To emphasize that one more time, there's a big difference between timing the market versus time in the market. Thank you for visiting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to smash that like button. Click on the like button and feel free to post a comment down below. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what content you'd like to see in the future, please be sure to comment. We try to read every comment from our viewers. Giving us a like helps our channel grow. Consider subscribing to our channel so you can continue to be updated on our latest videos. Until next time, so long my friends.